Hey, what up guys? Colorado Coin Hunter. Wanted to show you guys some new uh, pickups I just got. Here, let me on this, let me zoom this out a little. Check out these uh, pickups I just got them a little bit ago at the uh Wow. See, every time I do a video. There we go. I just picked these up at the, uh, at this little, uh, what is it? Kind of like an antique shop. But this thing is sick nice. Just makes your tummy get butterflies when you look at it, man. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at that. Woof. Any scratch you see at all, it's on this case, 100%. It's got uh, full split bands. I mean, there ain't a scratch on this thing, man. So beautiful. Really got a lot of luster going on with it. It's a national uh, newsmatic certification. I don't know anything about that. They're saying it's a 68 MS 68. I don't think it's that high. But I, I don't know, man. It's, it is really pretty. I just couldn't pass it up for the price I got them for. This one, same thing with this Buffalo nickel that I picked up from them. It was absolutely pretty too. It's got some really cool gold uh, toning on this one. I don't know if I'll be able to pick it up really. But it's, it's really, really nice. See, it's got the full horn, obviously. It's the Denver. Really nice coin. And then I got a 1942. Uh, just the uh, silver. Ugh. Silver war nickel. Like I said, guys, I could not not pass up the prices on these. And for the condition of these coins, they're just really nice. Really good, good condition. This one had a little spot right there by him. Uh, yeah, you can see it right there. But still, man, for the price of that, I couldn't, I couldn't pass it up. And then I got this guy right here. Let me set this. I don't really know a whole lot about the Standing Liberties. I just know that they're hard to get with a full date and a full head. But, yeah. I think this one was like 300,000 minted on it or 300 and something thousand. But wanted to share it with you guys and let you all see it. Let me get this a little bit closer here. There you go. I don't know the grade on this one, what you guys think it would be. Let me know in the comments if you guys would. It would be awesome. I'll flip it over one more time so you guys can see the back again. It's really not in the best condition, but it's pretty nice. Got the full date. You can see some detail in her head, not a lot.
Don't do that, you stupid camera. Really? Here we go. Yeah, that's pretty nice. One more time, we'll look at all these ones again. Give me a grade on this one too. What you guys think on this one? Let me zoom back out on that so we can get a better look at it. And let me know if you think this one's an MS-67. This buffalo. Just let me know the grades on these, what y'all think. I know it's kind of hard to tell on the uh, camera and not in person, but this thing's filled with luster. It's really pretty. There's the reverse again. She's got the full horn. Pretty nice. And then one more time on this Merc. This thing is really nice. Let me know what you guys think the grade on this as well. It's insane, man. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see if I can get in here. Let you all see the... Where's my uh, loop? Uh, there it is. Let's see. It had some hair on there or something. Scratch on the damn case. There it sits off. It's got some cool toning to it up close, too, man. Just the luster on this thing is scary. Scary nice. Very, very scary, nice. And it's crazy that the, uh, uh, grading saying it's a 68, I don't, I really don't know about that. Man, I wish y'all could see it in person, though, man. It is it is nice. Very, very nice. And, of course. Man, it's pretty. Alright guys, let me know what y'all think on them, they're uh, here we'll go, that buffalo says it's an MS-67, 68 full bands on that, that no idea, and that one no idea, it's just how it was when I got them, so let me know. Alright guys, thanks for watching, like, share, subscribe, and all the other good stuff, thanks.